Hello people, welcome to another lesson about React. In this video we are going to learn how to bind the event handlers in the React. So we are going to create a component, we are going to change the state and show a message, we are going to toggle a message and we are going to go through each way of binding the event handlers in React. So the reason we bind them is purely because of how this keyword works in JavaScript. It's not because of how React works. But first I recommend you to go through this keyword and how the value of the this keyword is determined in JavaScript. And after this the video will make much more sense. So let, let's create a component. I'm gonna use the extension um, VS Code React Component Generator. You can create components with this or you can create your, the folders and the JS files yourselves. I'm gonna use this for now. So new React container component. Let's name it awesome. Let's get rid of this life cycles here. And prop types, we don't need them. Okay. So now it, it creates an index.js file and node knows that this component is exported so it's much more easier to import it here for example we created awesome component and now it will auto complete it will auto import it it's much more easier now we close it and we have access to it awesome awesome <laughs> okay so now let's create a function Let's create, for example, the first the state. Let's say show message and set it to false. And now let's create a function show message click handler. So in order to, to, to use this function, let's create a button. Button toggle. Okay, we have the button now. Now let's use this boolean we have inside the state. So let's make a paragraph and let's destructure the show message here. Const show message equals to this dot state. And now we have access to this boolean inside the render method. And we're gonna do show message if this is true. Let's show message you are awesome. If this will be false, let's say nothing. So now it will show nothing because it fall it's false. So now let's uh, use this uh, show message click handler. So on click, we are going to use this dot show message click handler. And let's console log the value this, this, and this. Okay, and now if we click it, it will say undefined. So this keyword is undefined because this used within a function returns the window object on the browser and the global object inside Node.js environment. So since React strict mode is enabled, it is returning undefined. So that's why we saw errors in other tutorials the first time. Because we were using this dot set state and set state method doesn't exist on the scope of the function. So we need to bind this. So this this inside the function will be referenced to the scope of the component. So we'll have access to this method that is inherited from the component. So now we'll use show message this dot state dot show message and we will toggle it. And that should work. And if you want to send parameters after this in bind, 
percent parameter bottom and we have access to it here okay now it works so this is the first way to bind event handlers in react the second way is to make an uh, anonymous function another function inside the event handler non-click and now we are gonna return the calling of the function so now we this is the easiest way to send parameters so now we can send the event inside here event so if, if we console log this we will have the event or the same second parameter parameter and you have access to it here we have the parameter this is one of the most easiest ways to send parameters in react I personally use this method all the time it says that it's the same as the other it affects the performance binding inside the handler but I didn't see any problems with the performance so this is the second one the third one is by using curring so if you don't want to bind inside the event handler you can use curring function so it will be a function that returns another function that returns the set state so now we don't need to use error function anymore here so we are gonna call here let's say with two parameters param2 and we get access to it param1 param2 the ones we sent here and we can get access to the event also so let's console log these two and see if it works this is a nice way to bind so we get access to param2 the parameter and the event but people on Stack Overflow says that if we don't bind inside the render method, it won't affect the performance. But mm, this is bike shedding discussions. I, I think it's the same. I mean, it's um, it's like binding narrow function here. So if you want to use this method and you like it, you can use it. The the fourth method. It's binding inside the constructor. So people say, uh, React says that um, this is the fastest way. It won't affect the performance, but um, you cannot send parameters like this. So for example, let's uh, make a function handler. And now let's bind inside the constructor. This that show message click handler equals to message click handler and we bind this so now we cannot call it anymore so now it will work but sending the parameters is um, you cannot send them but there is a way to do it it's not a nice way but there is a way to do it use this method it's faster if you, you don't use parameters if you use parameters use the error function but if you really want to use this <laughs> you can uh, make use of data for example data hello <laughs> let's say hello here and you get access to the event so now let's destructure the event we send a string here and we can access the string we sent here and inside the event so Let's say hello equals to event target data set. Now if we console log this, we have the parameter here. But I don't recommend this. If you want to be like an airplane <laughs> and uh, have the application fast, you can do it. If you have, if, if you have any problems, but um, I don't recommend doing this. Okay, and the last one, it's uh, using the arrow function like this and you will get access to the event let's console of the event 
but again you cannot send parameters like this so if you want to send parameters use a arrow function inside the click handler if you want to use bind this because it's faster you can use it you can use uh, occurring functions um, I personally use the arrow function inside the event handler I use it like this in the event I really like this send the event here and we call this method so that would be it for binding in uh, in react I hope you like this video and if you have any questions please ask them inside the comments see you in the next video bye bye